I will not tell you anything on this tour, and neither will my tour guides, that we don't believe in 100%. Do you know how excited I am? As owner of Bar Harbor Ghost Tours, Jennifer Pictou knows this town like few others. We give you a dual cultural look at paranormal activity in Maine from both the Euro-American perspective and the Wabanaki native perspective. It's the most fun way to learn about the history of an area that no one wants to talk about. Because it's raining, we stick to an indoors location, the Criterion Theater built in 1932. I just think it's a really nice place to hang out once you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the Criterion is home to a ghost or two, including a young theater employee who napped here and died here in the 1940s when a lit cigarette fell onto his mattress. George is what we call an intelligent haunt because an intelligent haunt knows it's dead, it knows you're here, and he can choose to interact with you very differently than he interacts with you or even you. <laughs> A woman's bracelet flew off of her wrist, landing in another part of the seating area here where no one was sitting, and it was mangled by the time she got it back. That's right. Pictou says these Bar Harbor ghosts often make their presence felt or seen. Don't forget to turn around and take a photo of the stage because many times that's where the orbs appear. So my producer, Sangeeta, took an image in the theater and we came up with this. Is this an orb? What is this? Okay, I would say no. You can tell that it's a reflection. This green orb right here, it's actually hovering around one of our tour guides. This orb was captured over a week and a half period on different tours by different people in various photographs, and it seemed to follow us around for about a week and a half. Pick two takes these tales seriously. She says she grew up in a haunted farmhouse with a family who believes in the spirit world. I am a Wabanaki woman. I am actually Mi'kmaq. I belong to the Aroostook Band of Mi'kmaqs in Northern Maine. And we have grown up with stories, tribal stories, from the time we're very young. Our spirit tales from the tribal side date back for over 12,000 years. So there's a lot of energy in this place that kind of feeds that paranormal activity. And Jennifer says there are other sites, a bed and breakfast and a hotel, that are also haunted in Bar Harbor. So haunted that the owners asked Jennifer not to point them out on the tour hmm. or tell others about them because they don't want that type of publicity or attention. Hmm. All right, that is Chronicle 4 tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night at 7.30 for another edition of Chronicle.